Hi friends, it's me, Rose. I'm so excited to meet you on your mat today. Let's get started with the block and your mat, and we'll begin today's practice focusing on the integration between your mind and your body, utilizing a consistent breath throughout class. We'll get started in child's pose. Bring your big toes together to touch. Open your knees wide. Then lower your chest all the way down to the ground. Yeah, and then settle in. Find length through your fingertips as you reach towards the top of your space. Press your hips closer to your heels. Start to elongate through the spine. Take a full breath in through your nose. Fill up largely. Open your mouth. Exhale. Twice more, just like that. Take in breath here. Let breath go. Final time, just like this. On your inhale, fill up your lungs. On your exhale, empty your lungs. This time, seal your lips. Slightly constrict the back of your throat. Only inhale and exhale out of your nose. In yoga, this is called your ujjayi pranayama. It's your fiery breath, your meditative breath. Tap into this breathing technique throughout practice to build some heat and to bring a source of meditation to your class. On your next inhale, elevate your forearms off of the ground. Feel activation from your shoulders all the way to your fingertips. Exhale, reach up and over to the right hand side of your space. Maybe this time you interlace your left palm on top of your right. Drop your hips close to your heels as you open through the left rib cage. Breathe here, and then breathe out. Inhale, walk your palms back through center, readjust through your spine, and then exhale up and over to the left side, right palm on top of left. Softly lower the heart and chest, and open up through the right side body. Inhale here, exhale here. Come back through center as you inhale. Release all of your breath. On your next inhale, rise up and shift into tabletop. Yeah, and then from tabletop, make any adjustments that your body is craving. If you sway your hips from side to side, if you curl your toes under as you glide forward and backwards, then adding on from here, open the knees, bring your big toes together, walk your palms forward, breathe in, modified upward facing dog. Shift your chest forward, open up the heart. Maybe you look to the right, maybe you look to the left. Exhale, extended child's pose, drop the hips, lower the chest. Taking these two movements with your own cadence of breath, inhale, glide forward, open up. Exhale, soften down, roll down. Twice more, inhale. Exhale. Final time, breathe in, shift forward. Breathe out, lower down. Coming back through center, neutralize your spine, tabletop. Stack your shoulders, stack your knees. Curl your toes under, breathe here. Hovering tabletop bear pose, breathe out. Elevate your knees just a few inches off the ground. Engage through your core as you find a long spine. Rather than looking forward or looking down, can you gaze towards the top of your mat to elongate through the spine? Yeah, feel the uh, isometric hold here as you start to build heat from within. Inhale. Exhale. Yeah, focus on the muscles that are working in this space to support your posture. Take a breath in. This time, breath out, downward facing dog. Pike your hips up towards the sky and then pedal out your legs by bending deeply into one knee, then the other. Spread your palms out wide here so you can open up through the chest and press your heart closer to your thighs. Yeah, bending deep. From here, friends, come back to stillness. This is a foundational posture we will return to often. From downward facing dog, inhale, look towards your hands at the top of your mat. Exhale, rag doll, walk your feet towards your wrists. 
lower your chest. Inhale, halfway lift, open the heart. Exhale, forward fold. And then peel your chest up one vertebrae at a time. Relax your shoulder blades down your back, palms rest by your side. We'll start with our first sun A from here. Inhale, high mountain pose. Sweep your fingertips up towards the ceiling. Relax your shoulder blades down your back as you find a comfortable gaze forward. Pull in through the core to protect your back. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. <sighs> Inhale, halfway lift, parallel your spine. Exhale, low lunge, step your left foot behind you. Keep your right leg forward. Adjust your standing feet if you need a little extra support to widen your base of foundation. Stay light through the fingertips as you root down through the feet. Inhale, crescent moon, drop your back left knee to the ground, untuck your back toes, rise up with a chest and lift your hands high, hold. Yeah, so from here, score off the hips underneath your shoulders, find depth into the right side so you're building heat through your right quadricep. Open the heart as you lift your hands high, inhale. Exhale, modified half splits, bring your fingertips to the ground, Press your hip bones back in space, and then lower your chest. And then inhale, exhale. So as you hold a posture, allow your breath to be the source of consistency, guiding you to length and to depth. Returning through center, inhale, low lunge, bend into your right knee, hover and lift your left knee off of the ground, open the chest. Exhale, forward fold. Bring your left foot to the top of your mat. Hinge and release. Same series, opposite side. Halfway lift, inhale, bring your palms towards your shins. Exhale, low lunge. This time, step your right foot behind you. Keep your left leg in front. Glide forward and backwards here to awaken the body and bring some mobility to the joints. Softly drop your right knee to the ground. Untuck your back toes. Breathe in crescent moon. Rise up. Open up. Yeah, so once again, this time your hips are underneath your shoulders. Close off the hips. Find depth into the left knee. Zipper the torso as you reach your hands high. Full inhale. Full exhale. Through the nose. Adding on through the mouth. This time half splits. Flex your left foot towards your face. Lower the chest. Yeah, and make a little adjustments as you need. If you move forward and backwards just a bit to floss out the muscles. Breathe here. And breathe out. As you open up through the back body, the posterior chain on the left side, you inhale, shift forward, this time low lunge. Hover your right knee off of the mat. Keep your heart open. Exhale, forward fold. Step your right foot to the top of your mat. Hinge and release at the waist. Listen for changes. Halfway lift, inhale, bring your palms towards your shins. Exhale, high plank. Place your palms down to the mat. Step your legs behind you. First high plank of practice. Adjust as you need. Stack your shoulders, stack your heels, zipper the core in. And then if your hips are high or if your hips are too low, you might feel a slight pinch through the spine. So really zip up, hold in, breathe in, breathe here. Exhale, lower halfway. Inhale, upward facing dog. Slip the feet, shy the chest. Exhale, downward facing dog, pike your hips up, gaze towards your thighs. Take a full breath in, take a full breath out. We flow, inhale, look forward. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Walk, jump, step, or float. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold forward. Breathe in, high mountain pose. Stand tall, reach up. Exhale, forward fold. Halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Step your left foot behind you. Keep your right leg forward. Drop your left knee. Inhale, crescent moon. Rise up with control. Exhale, modified half split. Fingertips to the ground. Lengthen your right leg. Shift forward, inhale, low lunge. Hover your left knee. Exhale, forward fold. Left foot meets your right. Last time, halfway lift. Exhale, low lunge, up your right foot behind you, left leg stays forward. Inhale, crescent moon. Exhale, modified half splits. Gaze in front of your left toes. Inhale, low lunge, shift forward and hover. Exhale, forward folds. 
Halfway lift to open up. Exhale, high plank. Place your palms down, step your legs behind you. From high plank, inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga. Bend the elbows and open the chest. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Nicely done. Transitioning from here, moving into your first sun B. From downward facing dog, look towards your hands. Inhale. Bend your knees and then travel. Forward fold, exhale. Breathe in, halfway lift. Breathe out, forward fold. Sit low, inhale, chair pose. Find depth into your squat. Slide your hands high. Hold and breathe. From here in this place, find this isometric stability. So you really drive your hips down. Magnify your inner thighs together so you feel one supported root. Open the chest and soften your shoulder blades down. Inhale here. Sit lower, exhale. This time bring your focus, your attention to your right leg, your right side. Breathe in. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Step your left foot behind you, then slide your palms by your side. And breathe. From here, friends, energetically drive the crown of your head forward as you lengthen through your left leg. Rotate your palms to face each other, and then lift your hands up towards the ceiling. Breathe. Breathe here. Breathe out. Keeping the core nice and strong. Big transition. Inhale, warrior two. Ground your left foot down. Open up your chest. Reach your hands out wide like a T. From here, find depth into the right side. Laying through the back leg. Reach your arms out, creating some tension and support. Look ahead of your right middle finger. Breathe in. Sink lower, breathe out. Adding on, inhale, reach forward. Exhale, extended side angle, right palm down, left hand up. Option here to grab your block and to bring the block <laughs> so to the inside of your right side. Open up the chest as you reach your left hand towards the ceiling. Without rounding the spine or dumping your weight, can you lift a little higher? Inhale. Exhale. Remove the block away from your space. Stay grounded into the right knee. Inhale, reverse warrior. Open up, reach back. Feel length through the left side as you feel a deep side oh. body stretch. Full inhale here. Exhale, low lunge. Place your palms onto the ground. Frame your right foot. From here, friends, spread your palms wide. Step your right foot back to meet your left. High plank. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway. Breathe an upward facing dog. Flip the feet, shine the chest. Scoop the lower belly. Exhale, downward facing dog. Take a generous inhale through the nose. Expansive exhale out of the mouth. <sighs> We'll do that same series on the opposite side. I'll flip around so I face you. From downward facing dog, look towards your hands. Then travel top of your mat, forward fold. Reset, halfway lift, open up the backside. Exhale, forward fold. Sit low, inhale, chair pose. Bend your knees, drop your hips, and then reach your hands high. Breathe here. Yeah, in a posture that you recognize how can you bring the attention, the focus to the mind and the body, right? What does it feel like in this place? Notice where the mind goes when the body holds. Breathe in, breathe out. This time, friends, bring your attention to your left leg. You stay committed to the bend in the left knee. Inhale here. Exhale, crescent lunge with airplane arms. Step your right leg behind you, then slide your palms by your side. Breathe. Stay committed to the bend in your left knee as your right hamstring presses up to the ceiling. Once again, energetically, you drive the crown of your head forward as you open up the back body. Full inhale. Full exhale. Big movement. Inhale, warrior two. Ground your right leg down and then open the chest. Readjust your stance here as you reach in opposite directions. Yeah, maybe you pulse your left knee just a bit and stay stacked, shoulders over hips. Breathe in, breathe out. Look over your left middle finger. Take an inhale as you shift forward, lean forward. Exhale, extended side angle. Once again, you have the option to grab a block and bring the block to the inner edge of your left thigh. 
reach your arms out in vertical directions here. Yeah, so you find the alignment, shoulders stacked. Rather than rounding the spine or ah. shifting weight down, can you reach a little bit higher? Oh yeah, creating space. Inhale. Exhale. Maintain depth into the left side. Breathe and reverse warrior. Slide up, then back. Open up through the left rib cage here as you maintain length for the right side. Full inhale. Exhale, low lunge. Cartwheel your palms down. Frame your left foot. Reposition your stance here. And then bring your left foot back to meet your right. Actively press the ground away. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower halfway down. Upward facing dog. Inhale. Downward facing dog. Exhale. <sighs> yeah, and then do a scan of the body. From the crown of your head. All the way down the spine. To the back body here. Notice how you feel in this place. We'll flow this series of postures with one breath to one movement, linking the series together. From downward facing, look towards your hands, inhale. Bend your knees and travel, forward fold. Reset, halfway lift. Forward fold, exhale. Breathe in chair pose, sit down, reach up. Bring your weight to your right foot. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane your arms. Inhale, warrior two, spread your arms out wide. Exhale, extended side angle, shift forward, down, then up. Maintain depth in the right side, breathe in, reverse warrior. Breathe out, low lunge, cartwheel hands. Frame your right leg, step your right foot back to meet your left. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, chaturanga, bend the elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog, open the chest, shine the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog, pike the hips, gaze towards your thighs. Breathe in. Breathe out. Last time of this series on the opposite left side. From downward facing, look towards your hands. Inhale. Then travel forward. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Reset the spine. Exhale, forward fold. Sit low. Breathe in. Chair pose. Bring weight to your left foot this time. Exhale, crescent lunge, airplane your arms. Step back and reach back. Inhale, warrior two, open up the chest, stay deep into the left side. Exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, down, then up. Keep the bend, breathe in, reverse warrior. Slide all the way up, then back. Exhale, low lunge, place your left palm to the ground, then your right. Square off your shoulders and hips. Step your left foot back to meet your right, lower halfway. Upward facing dog as you inhale. Downward facing dog as you exhale. <sighs> Take a full breath here. Take a full breath out. <sighs> Excellent job, my friends. Transitioning from this place, shifting our focus to a little bit of recovery. Inhale, lift your right leg up towards the sky. Yeah, start by flexing your right foot. Keep your hips square. Now bend into your right knee, stack open the hips. Maybe you stay in stillness or you rotate your right knee, finding some mobility on the right hand side. Inhale as you re extend your right leg up. Exhale, runner's lunge. Step your right foot to the top right hand corner of your mat. From here, drop your left knee down. Hold. Excellent. So take a few moments for yourself to settle in. And in this posture, we have a wider stance with our lower body. So we're focusing on opening up the right side, the right hip bone. So you're welcome to guide your right knee open with your right hand. Maybe you use a block here for extra support. I personally like to bring my palms underneath my shoulders, slide my left foot down and back, and slowly lower my right and left forearms to the ground. Blocks are always there to bring the earth a little closer. Wherever you are, can you focus on the breath? The inhales and the exhales to guide you into a place of support, right? If you're noticing acute sensations that arise, find some gentleness as you hold. With or without the block, press all the way up 
Left palm comes underneath your left shoulder. Inhale, easy twist. Reach your right hand to high. Maybe you rotate your right wrist or your right shoulder. Option here to capture your back foot with your right hand. Inhale. Exhale. <sighs> Squeezing through the back body. Your left hamstring is working here. Last breath in. Exhale, gently release, come through center, modified half splits. So you've seen this posture before, in the very beginning of class. Seeing it again here, maybe this time you go a little bit deeper. With or without the block, start to lengthen your right leg and then lower the chest. So in this posture here, we're highlighting your right posterior chain. So from your glutes to your hamstrings, all the way down to your calf muscles and Achilles, you feel length. Breathe in, breathe out. Come back through center, find a soft bend into your right knee. Remove the block to the side. Come onto your palms, curl your left toes under. Inhale, exhale, high plank. From your high plank, shift forward. Then lower all the way to the belly. Untuck your toes, leave little to no weight in your hands. Inhale, cobra pose, lift your chest up. Rather than gazing towards the ceiling, can you gaze in front of your mouth, keeping your neck nice and long? Last inhale to lift. Exhale to lower. Curl your toes under with strong arms and legs. Press up high plank. Downward facing. To even out the body, we'll take that exact same series on the left side. Inhale, slide your left leg high. Flex your foot, square off the hips. And then adding on, bend into your left knee, stack open the hips. Maybe you revolve and rotate your left knee. Coming back through center, inhale, re-extend your left leg up. Exhale, runner's lunge. Bring your left foot forward. Yeah, adjust. And then slowly lower your right knee down. We naturally have muscular imbalances in the body. So without any judgment or criticism, Start to observe how this posture on the left side feels in comparison to the right. I'm much tighter on my left side. Come back down through center. You're welcome to stay on your palms or use a block. Lower onto your forearms if you did so on the first side. Maybe you gently invite external rotation into the left knee, feeling the stretch through your hip flexors. Breathe here. Breathe out. Open the chest. Close off the chest. Maybe you come through center, pressing onto your right palm. Inhale, left hand high, easy twist. Option to invite other revolutions or rotations through your left wrist or your left shoulder. Maybe you capture your back right foot with your left hand. Inhale. Exhale. Last one, come back through center, release a twist in the binds, modify half splits. Lengthen your left leg this time and lower the chest. With or without the block, you allow your heart to lower in this place. Coming back through center, remove the block to the side. Curl your right toes under, hover your right knee off of the mat. Take an inhale here, exhale high plank. From high plank, shift forward, lower all the way to your belly. Untuck your toes, bring your forearms to the ground this time. Stack your shoulders over your elbows, squeeze your inner thighs together. Inhale, sphinx pose, open the chest, hold and break. Yeah, rather than gazing to the ceiling, gaze directly in front of you. If you want to go a little bit deeper, maybe you start to hover your elbows off the ground as you press your arms down for seal. Readjust your hand placement if you'd like to find a greater expression of the posture. And breathe in here. Slowly release, breathe out. Taking your time, come back up into a tabletop position. Stand nice and tall on your knees and on your arms. Yeah. From here, friends, find a comfortable seat. Bring your glutes to the center of your space, lengthen your legs out in front of you. 
Sit nice and tall. Inhale, reach your hands up high. Exhale, seated forward fold. <sighs> Capture your feet. Now find softness into the back body as you lower the crown of your head. Work to find the connection, the point of compression between your chest and your thighs. So bend your knees as much as you need. Inhale. Exhale. Last breath here. Last breath out. Feel your chest, your heart away from your legs. Yeah, and then find softness in your knees as you start to roll onto your backs, nice and slowly. From here, friends, we'll find one round of bridge pose. You're welcome to use your block if you'd like. Bend your knees and bring the soles of your feet down. Bring your palms by your side. Inhale here. Exhale, bridge pose. Squeeze and elevate the hips. If you're using a block, you're welcome to slide the block underneath your hips for a supported bridge variation. Palms can rest by your side. Breathe here. Breathe out. Last inhale. Last exhale. Release the block if you have it. Drop your hips down. Hug your knees into your chest. Give yourself a generous, compassionate embrace as you squeeze in towards the middle. Taking a full sip of air. Last exhale to release Shavasana. Allow your legs to unfold out long in front of you. Place your palms by your side. Softly close your eyes. And in this time of rest, we start to recognize and highlight the space of connection between the mind and the body. Knowing that on your mat, you can heighten the awareness of movements, body intelligence, heightening the confidence you have to move thoughtfully and mindfully. Enjoy these final few moments of stillness. I will call you out when it's time. My friends, start to deepen your breath. Find softness as you integrate gentle movements back into the body. Maybe the crown of your head moves from the right to the left. Option to rotate your wrists. Maybe you bend one knee then the other. Take any stretches that you need before rolling over into fetal pose. Bend your knees and support the weight of your head with your bottom arm. In your own timing, find a comfortable seat. Sit nice and tall. Cross your ankles and bend your knees. Place your palms together at your chest. Simple sign of gratitude as you conclude our practice. Take a full breath in through your nose. Full breath out of your mouth. <sighs> Blink the eyes open. Thank you so much for joining me on your mat today. As always, it is such a pleasure to flow with you. My name is Mia Rose, and I'll see you next time.